everyone, it's Nisha. Let's curl our hair again. Hi, my lovelies. Uh, first of all, I hope and I beg of you to stay inside. Uh, we've just gone to lockdown yesterday. Um, well, the night before yesterday. So we are almost in total lockdown. We are only allowed to go to buy something to eat, only if we need to go to the pharmacy or to help someone in need. And we can go out to exercise just once a day. So we are allowed to go out, but to stay within a big distance of people, not talking to people. You can only go on your own or with the members of your family. And I think we all should be doing it. So please stay home. And as we are home, we have so much more time. I will talk about it uh, in another video, how I keep myself busy and how you can. But today, let's do something fun. So I have done beachy wave tutorial and I will link them somewhere here. I've got one for straight hair and one for beachy look. This one is similar but very different and much easier at the same time. For this tutorial, you will need deep waver. These are so cheap, I don't know, they are probably not that popular at the moment. This is probably the cheapest hair tool that I have, although I can't remember how much it was, but um, this one is from Tony and Guy, I will leave you links, but any of those deep, deep wavers will do. And this is optional and you will see when I do the tutorial, uh, your regular curling wand. So the idea of this is, because this is such a big tool, it can take really big sections and wide sections of hair. And also because of the big waves underneath, it gives you a lot of volume. So I feel like this is really good for people with very fine hair. I have fine hair, I've got a lot of it, but especially when it's straight, you can really see how fine it is. And I feel like this adds a lot of volume underneath, like what I call the scaffolding. Um, as you can see, the volume is enormous and it looks like you've spent hours on doing it. Anyway, let's not talk too much about it. Let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so I just washed my hair today and blast dried it and I also put the little crimping little bits with the crimper. If you haven't seen it, I will link here a couple of my other hair videos where I show you how to do it. I basically do it for volume. If you don't need the volume at the top, you don't need to do this. Um, also, when you've washed your hair, don't straighten it, don't blow dry it with, with a brush. If you are planning on curling your hair, don't straighten it first because then your curling tool has to work twice as much to curl that hair. <clears throat> I also have in here two of my little extension pieces. These are the ones that I put usually at the front because my hair here is quite thin. And I might just uh, put couple of waves in these and see if I need them at the end of it but again you don't have to do that um, I do that now and again when I want a bit more thickness at the front so here is my waver I'm going to grab my piece And as you can see, these are really, really loose beachy waves. I'm going to leave them to cool down and then I'm going to do my hair. First of all, I'm just going to separate the very top. You can see my crimping, crimped bits. The roots are getting big. At the end of this disaster, 
my roots will be down here but who cares okay and now I'm going to start sectioning from the bottom now if your hair is quite short I think I can still use the deep waver but if it's shorter than that the underneath bits you can just curl slightly with a wand so let's see if I can get in here with my deep waver yeah and I will be only able to do one because my hair is too short to do more an awkward big tool <laughs> to work with okay let's do the next section this is very quick as well because your sections can be a bit thicker than if you were doing it with a curling wand and also you tackle much wider um, much wider sections of hair I might be able to squeeze one more down the bottom. There. My roots, look how huge my roots are at the back because when I have my highlights done, um, I do, once I do the whole head, the next time I do just half a head. So just like the top, just not to overuse the bleach and last time I had half a head so by the time I can have my highlights done again I might be a total brunette <laughs> I'm holding the ends because my hair is quite slippery if I let go my tool slides now I could clamp it here but then my ends are not going to be straight they're gonna be curly and you really want the ends to be straight for it to have that you know beachy wave look see so if I put it down here then I get the kink at the end and that's not really what I'm after but if you want your hair to be curly all the way to the end then you can do that it all depends how long your hair is if it's very long you can do maybe even three of those but I am mostly able to do just one can't really see if I've done everything I don't have a mirror here to look at the back okay i suppose i've got a couple more sections and then we will take care of the top my hair is a bit longer I can manage to do two squeezes that's the professional term for it one and two so my ends are still out can you see how much volume that volume that gives because these are such deep waves our hair is going to look much bigger and more voluminous I 
Okay, so I've let the top section down. I'm just looking how much of this hair I have. Um, I might actually section off just very, very top because that's what we will work on with just the normal curling tongue. So I'm not going to touch the, the front, but I'm going to do it just here. Now here, because I've got my cream pin, I don't want to go too close to that because I don't want to straighten or disturb that cream pin. I love him. I don't know yet if I'm going to include this bit or I will do that with my curling tongs. Don't worry if you've missed any little bits because you can go over with your curling tongs to correct that. Okay. I think I'm done for the deep wave van and now I'm going to switch on to my curling tongs. Okay, you could carry on with this here if you are not all about that volume because as you can see the deep wave van doesn't give you any volume here whereas with this I can create volume. So if you're not bothered, you just want to have quite um, flat top then you can carry on with the deep waver but I like to add some volume you know around my face so I'm going to start here at the back now I have to be careful because I've got a bit of crimp in here so I am not going to start as slow and I'm just wrapping my hair around just back There is my curl. Again, I'm leaving the end out. I'm going to do this one now. Now this bit doesn't have the crimping because this bit needs to cover the crimping. So I can go right to the root. And you see that will give me a bit of a lift and I might do one more back and you just leave them there to cool down now we're going to take care of the Sides. And I'm not making them very tight because we don't want them to be really that much more curly than the stuff underneath. And remember if you've got any crimp in here leave it
and now if you see these that I put to the back if I let them go they all come here oh I've missed one here so let's do this one so when I let them down now they fall onto the sides and I've got more of those curls here oh um, just wanted to show you if you want to straighten just the ends just grab that and slightly pull it down straight obviously it's better to do with the straightness but you can do that with just the fluffy bits you know because they look a bit frizzy and I didn't bring my straightness here now when you feel that you keep finding little straight bits just take that wrap this tiny bit around your curling tongue not for too long and it will just give you that little curl so now I'm going to wait for it to completely cool down because I want you know the hair to if I start playing with it now I am risking off all these curls dropping much quicker than they normally would and they will drop a bit throughout the day okay I hope this looks okay from the back obviously um, if I was upstairs where I normally do it, I take another mirror and look. Uh, if I haven't missed anything, I don't know. So you have a look. I will check that later. Okay, so now my hair is cool and I can just leave it like this. And I probably will. I might just gently shake it. I will take a hairspray. I've got here Joico firm ultra dry spray I haven't tried this spray for long enough to know if I like it but you want something I think you know I like the most Kenra 25 for curly hair that seemed to work you know spray a bit underneath Remember, it is supposed to look a bit messy. It's a beach look. And there you go. Can you see how much volume that gives? So I think that this is probably easier for people that are not that experienced with using these um, because there's so many ways you can use and operate this depends what what wave you want whereas this you just use one way and it's quick and easy okay my lovelies i hope you enjoyed this video please stay inside stay safe and stay fabulous bye now i don't know if i need these they probably are not even actually cold enough but i'll show you quickly if i clipped in one of those I can add a bit of length and a bit more thickness to my hair so that's what I often do I might actually do it because I want this to be a bit longer I might have to give it a bit more curl because um, it doesn't seem to be that curly.